Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to try and take these 16 quilt blocks that I made a week or so ago. I'll leave a link below. I'm going to try to turn them into a quilt top. Now I could have put them all together, but after having four pieced together, I thought it looked kind of nice. Maybe I would divide uh, sets of four blocks with some sashing and corner stones. So the first thing I did is I put four of my quilt blocks together. After getting four sets of four quilt blocks sewn together, I laid them out on my floor and I tested out some different cornerstones and I decided I would make some snowballs for the cornerstones of my quilt. So I pulled out a bag of my blue scraps and I cut, I think it was nine, yeah, nine three and a half inch squares to make some snowballs. After getting my nine squares cut, then I had to, to find out how big I was going to make those squares for the corners of these blocks to make them into snowball quilt blocks. And I am using one and a half inch squares. So I need four squares for each of my three and a half inch squares to turn them into these really cute little snowball quilt blocks. So I took my little squares and I did some chain piecing. I put one little one and a half inch square in each corner of my larger blue squares and I put a seam in from corner to corner. I did not draw a line, but of course you could draw a pencil line if you uh, feel more comfortable with that. I did um, mine just by eyeballing from corner to corner. And since this is such a small little square, it worked out just fine.
After getting all of those squares sewn on the corners, I trimmed away the excess and I won't be saving these little tiny pieces. They're just, I save a lot of tiny pieces, but these are probably too tiny for my liking. And I just went ahead and trimmed all of those triangles off of the corners. And then I pressed these little snowball blocks my little snowballs in all the corners of my larger groups of four and now all I need to do is cut some strips and my strips are 24 and a half inches by three and a half inches and I needed 12 strips to go all the way around my um, larger groupings of four so I'm going to work in rows and the first row will be three snowballs and two strips and I'll work in rows and then I'll put those rows together.
my quilt top is now all ready to go. And if I wanted to make a twin size, I would just make two more sets of those four quilt blocks together. My quilt top right now is about 57 by 57. And I'm going to leave it as is. I'm not sure who this is going to. And if I decide it needs to be twin size, I'll just need to make a few more blocks. And that'll be easy to do. Thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you next time.